this is Presley again, and today I wanted to make a video about um, some ways that you can get new players into your Magic the Gathering store. So basically a way to pull in some more traffic, uh, get some more people in your community, and really get your store talked about a little more. Um, so I'm going to kind of like jump right into it. We all know how immersive and fun MTG is, so we know how important it is to have a good uh, Magic the Gathering store and a fun one at that. Um, so to get new players, you definitely want to hone in on that. You want it to be a fun, new thing. Um, and so the first thing you can do is you definitely want to make sure you're providing a good experience comparatively. Um, it's not like there are a ton of Magic Gathering stores, but they're, they're not completely rare. So you want to make sure that you're kind of doing something to stand out, whether it be um, in like customer relations or maybe how you promote your stuff or whatever it may be. You want to make sure that you're a little bit different, but that you're also providing the best experience possible. Um, another one would be to uh, participate in a photo tour. Participating in photo tours definitely bring out a lot of uh, the community and you get a little more connected and your network can be a little more fine-tuned and that way you can kind of bring some more traffic in as well. Um, another one would be offering attractive packages, kind of like incentives. You want to offer a reason to come there. You want to offer a reason uh, to be playing and to be looking around or buying whatever it is uh, you might be looking for. Um, you also want to be hosting demos and tournaments. You can't really get more players unless you're hosting uh, something for them to really want to go to. Demos and tournaments are a great way to do that. It's a great way um, to bring players in. It's a great way to bring new players in. It's a good way to connect with the community. So you definitely want to take advantage of that because especially with the Magic community, you can tell they uh, receive that kind of um, connection very well. People can tell when you're being genuine and when you're not being genuine. So especially in a Magic the Gathering store, you want to make sure that you're doing that. Um, and another one would be to create, uh, really you want to create the relationship with your local play games. So like um, where you might have local play groups and things like that, you kind of want to have a relationship with them um, and kind of have, you know, your foot in the door there and be able to speak with them and um, kind of see what the trend's going on there and uh, see what you can really do to fine tune what you need to fine tune. Uh, and the next thing would be obviously to market the store. You want to market the store. You want to um, tell people, hey, I have this store. This is why you should come in. Um, these are the reasons we're different. These are the reasons you should, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's kind of like an incentive, I, w I would say. And it, it, that kind of leads me into my next thing is paying for, is in, excuse me, incentives for referrals. And what I mean by that is when someone tells someone else about your store, you want to kind of give them a reason to do so. When you're, and when you're giving them incentives and you're giving them a reason um, to be talking about your product or your store um, or your tournament, whatever it might be, um, you want to give them a reason to be doing so because when you do that, that generates hype naturally. And so more people are going to talk about it. More people are going to be excited about it. It. Um, when you offer incentives like that, it gets people excited for the next thing that might come out. Like, what is the ne next ex is incentive? Excuse me. Um, you know, what is the next thing that's going to happen? What is the next fun thing to do? Um, and that's definitely something that you can hone in on and use to your advantage, especially in this audience, because magic is so fun and it's so diverse and there's so many kind of different ways to really enjoy it. So you want to make sure that you're kind of keeping that fun hype about it. Um, Another one would be to structure the pay for play, and by that I mean like pay for players with like an attractive prize pool, and that kind of brings in new players as well, so that's always a really good idea. Um, another one is utilize the live element, and by the live element I mean like Facebook or Instagram and things like that. Um, that way you can kind of promote what's going on. When you go live on Facebook and you're like, this is our event tonight, look at how many people are here, you know, it generates more hype and excitability and things like that. Um, and uh, it overall just makes it makes customers or followers or clients things like that it makes them feel more connected to you and what you're doing and actually what you're about in general it makes them feel like you actually care about what's going on that you're trying to keep them in the loop um, and the next thing would be uh, you want to be really pronounced on Friday Night Magic so you want to make sure everyone knows you're having Friday Night Magic and you want to make sure that you're doing those and doing those well uh, and making them fun um, you want to make the store inviting, obviously. You want to, of course, make the store inviting. You want to make it look nice. You want to have people to stop by or walk by. Even if they're not Magic players, maybe they'll walk by and still want to come in. You want to make it very attractive and eye-popping and things like that. Um, and the last one, and, and I would probably say maybe some of the, one of the most important, important ones would be to have an event schedule. Because when you have an event schedule, even if someone um, hasn't stopped in your shop or something like that, um, 
we see with Facebook and other social media platforms that they'll have events come up. So um, even if someone is not following you specifically, they might see it on their friend's feed or, you know, whether it's not that and someone just says, hey, on their website, they have an event schedule, look at this, you know. An event schedule really gives the ability for friends to talk to friends about what's going on or really just for your clients to know whenever your events are in general, which is just good as it is. Um, but it opens up the door for a lot of different um, advantages for that. So you definitely want to make sure that you're taking advantage of it. Um, so yeah, that's my, um, that's my video on how to bring in some more players to your store. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it. If you feel like there's anything I should um, fine tune or you feel like uh, maybe there's something I missed, let me know. Uh, I can't wait to hear some feedback. So thank you guys for watching.